Look what I got my hands on. The Burl King Keg. You want to see more about it? Keep on watching. What you're looking at here is the keg 5000 by Broil King and I reached out to them recently after uh, researching some grills I wanted to get a backup grill um, if you remember my my fiasco with the Kamado Joe Big Joe last year where the hinge spring had failed um, in the middle of the summer and I didn't get a replacement until the end of the fall and I missed months I mean several months four to five months of prime cooking weather out here in around Chicagoland uh, and then went into the cold dark winter and I didn't do all that much cooking this winter well I vowed to not let that happen to me again I said I need another grill so I did some research uh, about a number of different types of grills different brands different makes and I, and I came across the Broil King keg and that piqued my interest uh, I, I read about it saw some videos I, I found it interesting enough I reached out to them they uh, they got back to me and offered to drop one off for me and actually when I mean drop one off they actually dropped one off they actually drove from Ontario Canada um, to Chicagoland here and dropped one off for me so that was really cool and uh, so I'm really excited uh, I've done some test cooks on this thing uh, I've done some I've done some pork chops and burgers I've smoked some salmon on it uh, vegetables corn on the cob uh, green beans asparagus things like that just just a lot of the general grilling type stuff and I have not had a problem with it yet so uh, so far so good uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna walk over some of the highlights I think are really awesome about this grill and some of its pros and I am going to do that right now for starters the exterior of this thing really does look a bit like like a keg right it's got a metal exterior and in fact it's a double walled uh, and insulated body much like my previous Kamado prior to the Kamado Joe my Chargo or Acorn one right um, it's not ceramic, but uh, that doesn't mean it's uh, not a good Kamado. In fact, there are advantages to a non-ceramic Kamado, which I actually did miss from my previous Kamado uh, before getting my, my Kamado Joe. For example, it's much lighter weight. Um, it's easier to move around your patio. It's got big wheels on it and grab handles everywhere, including underneath the side trays and behind it. And you can uh, move this thing around, no problem. In fact, you could even lift it if you had to uh, down couple steps at least or more and uh, speaking of portability this thing is also uh, has a hitch adapter option so you can mount this onto the back of a, a truck or a SUV with a trailer hitch or even a car that has a trailer hitch and take it places with you now I can't do that now with my very heavy ceramic Kamado Joe it's very heavy very bulky um, it's I mean it's sitting on my patio here and it's not moving anywhere so so that so don't think a non ceramic Kamado is not as good as a ceramic Kamado there are pros and cons to ceramics in, in this style and uh, so it, it is what it is it does have a pretty sturdy look and feel to it it's pretty solid all around pretty well built pretty sturdy looking and so far I'm, I'm impressed with that like all grills including Kamados this thing's got intake and exit vents the intake vent on the bottom rotates uh, with little tick marks to help you remember which settings you prefer for different types of cooking low and slow hot and fast for example to quickly dial in that uh, that vent setting and the top vents are also adjustable 
uh, with these little tick marks on them as well to help you recall where you want your vent settings. Again, depending on whether you're doing hot and fast, slow and slow, or somewhere in between. Although not a necessary part of the grill, uh, a, a small feature which is kind of nice, especially when you don't have a bottle opener on hand, is the fact that this thing has got bottle openers built into it. There's, there's one under each side of the, uh, of the dome lid handle, which is pretty cool. So you can put a bottle under there and open a bottle top and uh, not have to go looking for a bottle opener. The lid on this thing is much easier to open uh, in contrast to my Kamado Joe, which requires two hands to lift the thing open. Makes it much easier to open and close, especially for those hot and fast cooks where you're opening and closing the lid quite often to, to, to flip burgers or, or whatever, right? And it's got a seal between the lid and the main body, just like any other Kamado. And it's even got a, a little latch on it so you can uh, lock the, the uh, lid down tight to make it more of a tighter seal. On the inside, the main grate is cast iron. Now, those up, now that material's got pros and cons, right? I had this on my old uh, Chargill or Acorn grill. Uh, I liked it uh, to a degree. I also didn't like it to a degree. It, it's a mixed bag. Uh, what's really great about it, uh, well, first of all, the downside is just that you have to season it and maintain it like any other cast iron cookware. But the plus side is that once you get it seasoned really well, it's pretty low maintenance, and it does leave rip, very good grill marks on, on your foods. In addition to the main grate, they have an upper grate that uh, fits in one of two post holes on the main grate to give you a sort of an upper deck grate for more grilling area. And that can be put on the left side or the right side and it swings out of the way just like my old char grill acorn did. And that was a kind of a neat little piece of functionality which I missed, which I, I actually welcome back. As far as transporting this thing, on the trailer hitch, this whole upper body comes off the lower cart assembly via a pin underneath. So you pull the pin and you can pull this thing out and use that same removable pen uh, and a couple people to help carry this thing with the side handles that are underneath the removable trays and attach it to your trailer hitch. And I'm looking forward to giving that a try in the future. I don't have the trailer hitch with me today, right now, but I should be getting one sometime in the near future. And that's the quick overview, folks. I plan on doing a lot of cooks on this thing this summer. Uh, so, so stick around, stay tuned. If you're a new viewer and have not yet subscribed to my channel, make sure you subscribe by clicking the, the subscribe button somewhere down in the corner here. And uh, so you get notified of future videos because I'm, I'm gonna be cooking a lot this summer. I'm gonna be doing some lows and slows, hot and fast, you know, and everything in between, like I would normally do on my other Kamado. I'm gonna try to see how much I can cook on this thing without having to go back to my Kamado Joe. Uh, the only time I may go back to my Kamado Joe this summer is because it's a larger grill. I can cook more food on it, for example, but I'm gonna make a, a good, faith effort here to use this grill all summer and see how it works so all right so let, let me know what you think of this grill if you have one send me some tips give me some comments down below if you're curious and have more questions about it you can comment as well i'll try to answer them for you and other than that i'll talk to you all next time thanks for watching be sure to check out other videos on my youtube channel and don't forget to subscribe